All right, what's up, you guys? Hope you enjoyed that little flexing intro. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what is your body's natural potential for putting on muscle uh, as far as how many pounds, as far as what age, what length of time, how long will it take, uh, things of that nature. So before I get into it, uh, the most important thing is going to be how long you've been training uh, is going to directly impact how many how many pounds of muscle or how much muscle you can gain per year. Initially, in your first year of lifting, if you've never lifted before, never had any type of muscle building experience, your first year of lifting, you can easily put on 15 to 20 pounds. After that, it should taper down to 10 for a couple years maybe, and then after that, maybe 5 pounds a year. And 5 pounds a year is probably going to be uh, the most steady uh, rate of increase as far as pounds of muscle per year for probably probably for the rest of your now you, you're not going to get five pounds of muscle for the rest of your lifting uh, life probably for the next 10 years of lifting you might get five pounds of muscle per year so basically the natural potential is probably not going to be if you're under six foot like I am your natural potential is probably not going to be over 200 pounds lean muscle so probably 200 pounds seven eight percent six percent body fat even that's probably your natural potential just to give you a just to give you a rough idea of what of what it is to be natural or what your what you could possibly do being natural um if you look at the uh the 202 or the 212 class in bodybuilding now um look at those guys those guys are juiced to the fucking bone and they're only 202 pounds so just think about how 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 low potentially your natural potential might be so it's important for you not to get your hopes up that if you take this supplement or take that supplement or do this anything that you would have to pay for that advertises extreme muscle growth just be cautious and be be informed because it, if it's not steroids it's really not going to do anything drastic for you if you're a natural bodybuilder you're going to be pretty consistent at five pounds per year for a long time, no matter what supplements you take. As long as your diet's on track and you're eating an excess amount of calories when you're bulking and a, and a deficit of calories when you're cutting, you're going to be on a pretty good bodybuilding track to, uh, to measure your progress. So basically the way that, um, the way that I see it is all these, all these bodybuilding magazines and all these, training videos that are on YouTube and all these interviews with bodybuilders and all these supplement companies that have bodybuilders as representatives or poster boys for their product are all very misleading to somebody who's uninformed about bodybuilding and wants to build muscle. I mean, most guys get into the bodybuilding game pretty young or by body, I use the term bodybuilding loosely. Guys want to start working out, start building muscle, usually to get a girl or to look good or to get attention or for sports or what have you. Uh, most guys that I encounter start lifting when they get to high school or maybe even middle school in some cases. So they're young guys, 13, 14, 15. These guys don't know about steroids. These guys don't know about the truth of what goes on behind the scenes in the, in the fitness community. These guys don't know all that. So all these, all these supplement companies and stuff are going to lie to them to get their business and tell them, You'll build more muscle if you take this. You'll build a lot of muscle if you take this. This will get you big. This will get you big. That will get you big. And it's important to realize that really the only key to, to building muscle, if you're natural, is to eat an excess amount of calories because you, you can't build muscle out of nothing. You've got to have an excess of something to, get it, to gain an excess of something. If you eat the same as you've always eaten, you're going to have the same amount of body mass as you're always eating. you got to... You got to eat an excess to gain an excess. So that's the first rule. The second rule is just progressively lift heavier weights. Always try to lift more than you lifted the week or the month or the day before. Just progressively try to that progressive overload principle. That's the that's the second thing that you need to do to gain muscle naturally. I'm just I'm just going generic here. Some generic simple tips to build muscle naturally. This isn't going to be too in depth of a video. Um, I'm natural. I've never taken steroids. 
never taken any type of hormone, any type of peptide, uh, any type of anything. I don't even take supplements anymore. I don't even take protein. I've been off. I used to take pre-workout, but I got pretty addicted to that, and I think it's it's pretty unhealthy for you. I started developing pretty bad chest pains and uh, my kidneys. I had some issues with my kidneys. Um, so I've been off pre-workout for about four months now and I feel great without it. Uh, so I'd recommend that you guys don't take pre-workout because in the long run, it's going to be bad for your adrenal glands. It's going to wreak havoc on your heart, your blood pressure, your kidneys. Um, I mean, these supplements are not approved or tested by the FDA. They're dangerous. And if you don't know what you're doing, you could really fuck yourself up if you take too much. So natural bodybuilding, it, it's a hard thing to do because you got to stay informed and you got to know what you're doing. So the advice that I would give somebody uh, trying to put on as much muscle as they possibly can is the balking cutting principle, which most of us most of us know about. It's pretty simple. So I would recommend you balk for about seven or eight months out of a year and eat a, a large excess of calories for that balking period. Um, this is not just for somebody starting out for somebody natural bodybuilding period and the cut for about three to four months, I would say would be a good period of time to cut because what this does for you is over the seven or eight months that you're balking, um, when you cut down that body fat, you see how much muscle you gain from year to year. If you balked last year at 200 pounds and you cut down to 170 at 5% body fat, then you balk the next year and you get up to 220 and you cut down and you're 180 at 5% body fat. This gives you a much better picture of, of how much muscle you're building naturally. And I think that's the best way to do it. Um, you can't, I think perma balking uh, is fairly unhealthy and your body gets used to anything over a long period of time. So you got to keep cycling things. You can't just balk forever because your body will just get used to it and your gains will start to taper off. But if you balk and then cut, you're constantly keeping your body guessing and uh, you're going to have a much better result uh, with that. So as far as the maximum potential, I don't think you're going to be able to expect to look anything like a pro bodybuilder, even a 212 guy. Um, the look that they have is just is due to a large amount of drugs and you're just not going to get that naturally. You need, I just want I just want people to have a realistic expectation of what they can expect to achieve without taking steroids. Right now, I'm about 195 pounds, 13-14% body fat. And this is the biggest I've been and the leanest I've been at such a heavy weight. And uh, I've seen my gains taper off. I've been working out for about 8 or 9 years now. And over the past cut, the past 2 or 3 years... Um, my heaviest weight that I've reached in the bulk is staying about the same. I usually get to about 205. I stay between 198 and 205, but my body fat has gradually been lower at these weights. The first time I got to 200 pounds, I was, I was probably over 20% body fat. And, uh, last time I was at my senior year when I was at 195, I think I was 21% body fat. I'm 195 right now at a, at a at a lower body fat, so I'm I'm still making gains, but I'm staying in the same weight range. If that makes any sense. Um. So that's that's my advice to you guys. Don't believe everything the supplement companies say. Have realistic expectations. If you want to gain muscle, eat an excess of calories and progressive overload. And those are the keys to naturally building muscle. And just, just keep your expectations realistic. And that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you learned something from this video.